If you're looking for a decent Robovac that doesn't break the bank, then this could be the video for you. Let's take a look at the Eufy 11S Max. So we'll get straight into an unboxing to show you exactly what you get with Eufy 11S Max. If you haven't heard of Eufy before, they're a sub-brand of Anchor you may have heard of. Um, you'll have seen other stuff from them on the channel. I'm quite a fan, but definitely recommend considering them when you're looking at Robovacs. I've had the 11S, the lower powered model of this one for a while now and been really impressed. And this is the updated stronger version uh, with more suction power. So in the box straight away, you'll find the remote. So that lets you do obviously a few useful things, including set a timer. And if you just want to trigger the robot back to come out and start cleaning, you can also press the button on top of the vacuum cleaner to trigger it just to come out and start the clean. So both options available to you. You've got your three pin plug there that you're going to plug into the base station and it's going to charge itself off that base station and it will even return itself there when it needs more power. Um, and there's just a welcome pack here. So welcome to hands-free cleaning. It's really packaged up pretty nicely. Um, and there's a really clear label on the side of it there as well. Just remember that there is a physical switch on the bottom that you're gonna to need to turn on just once. That's just a rocker switch that you turn on once. Um, but some people have missed that. You see in the comments that they're wondering why their Robovac won't turn on. Uh, but I'll show you that in just a minute. So that's the Robovac out. There's the base station for charging. It will just dock itself on those two points there and take care of itself. Um, and then you've got the, uh, the spinners that are gonna act as a brush. You put one on either side at the front. It actually comes with four, so you've got some replacements there. I will link in the video description below to some other replacements you can get for the filters and for these brushes. Um, should you need to buy more, I think I change mine once every few months. Um, and then here's the filter for it as well. You pop in, it's an improvement over the 11S. It's just a one piece washable filter. Pretty nice touch there, really easy to maintain, which is another strong part of these Ufi Robovacs. In that packet, there's some zip ties. I think one of the things you'll find once you get a Robovac is you find yourself being much neater at keeping a clear floor, keeping all cables held back. Um, and it's also coming with this really handy cleaning tool to um, help cut away any hairs that get tangled up in it and help brush away any uh, debris around the brush bar. But I'll show you that in just a minute. So here's the Robovac out, taking a look at it, getting it set up for the first time just by adding those uh, brushes to it and showing you around the rest of the Robovac. So behind the bumper, there's a couple of sponge uh, sort of foam bits that are just there for packaging so you can take them out and it gives a bit of leverage then to that front bumper it's got sensors in there so it should avoid bumping into most things but obviously it occasionally will so that's why there's that um, kind of bumper design with a bit of play here's the label to the switch that I mentioned underneath so if we get underneath the rope back there it is it's physical switch rocker switch you just need to turn that on once and then you can forget about it um, there's the brush bar so you can take that out with those two blue clips to the right it's really easy if you want to get it out for cleaning which of course you're going to want to do um, and here's how you put these uh, brushes on the front so it's pretty easy it's just clipping down onto these two uh, white points either side so there we go just pushed in it's nice and snug and attached there and the same again on the left hand side what I do find with those is when you want to clean them, um, take them off, pop them off in the same way I've popped them on and just run them under hot water. It really helps straighten them out again after they eventually get a bit bent up, um, rubbing against floors and surfaces. Here's how you can get that brush bar out then. So I'll just pop the top level off and then there's the brush bar. It will only fit in one way. It's got an arrow on the top left hand side there and it just makes cleaning it really easy to be able to pop it out, get any hairs off of it that have got tangled up if you've got somebody with long hair in your family, um, and also just to clean off anything else that it's caught up with. And you saw that tool that came in the box, that's ideal for helping with that. So you can just pop it back in and then pop that in this way around to start with and click it down either side and you're good to go. Um, and then here's where it's gonna trap all of the, uh, the debris that it picks up. So just trying to open this with one hand, I'd recommend you use two. 
and there's the filter on the top there so that's where the filter lives and as I say you can pop that out and just wash it under the tap leave it to dry overnight on a radiator or similar um, and you'll be good to go again in the morning that's really nice for just again maintenance and just being able to deal with it all easily you can see it's all put together a really logical nice simple design so once you've plugged in the base station and you position the UFI on it for the first time manually, it's going to pulse with that orange light as it charges. And then here's the remote to take a look at. So in the top left, you've got that A for auto. That's the most important button, just to press to get it started. I'll take you through some of the other cleaning programs on those buttons towards the bottom of the controller now. So you've got the suction power. Um, I recommend just leaving that in the intelligent mode and it'll pick the right power for the right kind of floor it's cleaning on. You've got the charge button. So at any point, if you want the Robovac to return to its charging base station, you can press that and it'll head off that way. Um, just leave it otherwise and it'll do that automatically itself when it runs low on power. You've got the A, as I mentioned, for auto clean, which is the one you're just gonna use most often, I'd suggest just press that and it'll start cleaning. Uh, you've got the spot clean option if you want to use that. You've got the edge clean option if you want it just to go around the edges of your room. And you've got a quick clean, uh, sort of 13 minute cleaning program option as well, which is a change on the 11S Max compared to the 11S. Okay, to show you the cleaning in action now. So just from being on the dock, I've pressed the A button for auto on the uh, remote. And now the Ufi is just going to go about, find its way around the room and start cleaning. So you can see here, not bothering anyone. Um, I am using the remote to control the direction here a bit manually, but it will just move around by itself and find its way around your floors. Don't worry about using it upstairs like I am here. It's not going to fall down the stairs. It's got a drop sensor at the front that you'll see it's just going to activate there and catch itself and come back away from the edge of the stairs, but it's going to clean all the way up to them. So you can trust this around your house upstairs or downstairs. Um, and it's going to do a really thorough job. It doesn't have any of the fancier sensors that some of the really expensive cleaners have, but I really don't think they're needed. I think this kind of random approach to finding its way around your floor works perfectly well. Um, and once it's done, it's going to kind of go into a low power mode and start to return to the dock that it came from. So you'll, you'll notice it just going really slowly as it approaches the dock. You'll hear a beep and then the light will start to flash amber again as it charges itself. And of course, you know, if you've got another area of your house to take this to that's not on the same floor, you can just pop it down, get the remote out, hit A again, and away it's going to go. And it's just going to start cleaning the floor wherever you've put it. So hard floors, carpets, um, it's going to cope with most things uh, without much of a problem at all. If it ever does get stuck, you'll hear it beeping, and I'll show you what those beep codes mean in just a minute as well, so you can understand what's uh, what's gone wrong if your Ufi's ever complaining to you. But it's fairly rare, sometimes just mounting a particularly higher carpet, um, it might get stuck and want some help. So here we go, it's just doing its thing, moving around seemingly randomly, but it will cover the whole room quite happily. It will run for about up to, I think, an hour and a half uh, maximum. So just showing you how much it's collected on just a short run. So you can see all of that dog hair built up inside that it's picked up. A uh, really kind of thick, compact uh, amount of debris that it's picked up there. The first few times you run this, you're probably going to be disgusted with yourself at the amount it picks up off your floor. Don't worry about that. Just empty it out and start again and then get into that regular daily clean with it. And you'll find it's picking up far less by that point. So as mentioned, if your RoboVac ever gets into a spot of bother, it's going to start flashing the light or using a solid light and beeping a number of times to try and tell you what's going on. So on the left hand side here, let's start with the flashing light indicator accompanied by a number of beeps. So if it's the flashing light with one beep, it means that the RoboVac's stuck and a wheel is hanging in midair. Sounds far more dramatic than it probably is. It probably just means it's got stuck climbing onto a particularly thick rug from a flat floor. Uh, two beeps, the bumper is stuck, three beeps, the uh, vac is stuck and it cannot reverse and four beeps the power level is just too low so it couldn't get back to the base to charge so you can give it a helping hand 
Over on the right hand side, if the light is remaining solid on top and you're getting one beep, that means that the wheel is stuck. If you're getting two beeps uh, with that fixed light, it means that the side brush or one of them is stuck. And if you get three beeps with the solid light, it means that the suction fan is stuck. And if it's four beeps with the solid light, then the rolling brush in the middle is stuck. So again, it's really nicely set out to help you understand what's going on, help you maintain it. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you are thinking about getting a RoboVac or you have any questions, as always, drop them down below. And if you're new to the channel and you'd consider a subscribe, that'd be great. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.